welcome to my youtube channel guys my name is Tolani and I am diary of a kitchen lover this video is totally different from what you normally see on this channel because I'm going to be showing you the many interesting ways to using your food processor it promises to be exciting and I'm sure by the end of this video once you're done watching you will head straight to either get your own food processor or make sure you utilize it as much as I'm going to be showing you in this video your food processor is as important as your cooker in the kitchen because you can use your food processor to do literally anything you can chop you can knead you can slice you can even pound yam i'm sure you guys have seen a couple of videos where i have utilized my food processor so i decided to ded dedicate like a whole video showing you how to use your food processor so i want you guys to watch this video till the end Before we proceed, I just wanted to show you what your food processor would naturally come with. So, um, I'm going to be using different food processors as an example in this video. And this is a Philips food processor and it came with this. This is the cover. This is a pusher. You are using, you're going to use it to push down your whatever you are chopping or slicing or whatnot. Then it also came with... Um, a sharp blade this one is for chopping and all that then a blunt blade also for kneading and you know mixing your dough and all that then these pans are for chopping for slicing so it comes with different um, features that you can use to achieve many many results I'm gonna be chopping some pepper mixture that's the first thing I'm gonna be showing you so I like to chop my pepper mixture in a food processor because it gives it this very fine consistency and all of that and when I use a food processor to chop my pepper mixture people always ask me what I use so I'm going to show you how I chop my pepper mixture using this Philips food processor so guys I have my pepper mixture here it's a mixture of um, tomatoes patache onions and all that and the blade I'm going to be using to chop this to get like a very fine consistency is this blade um, they come as a piece so I'm going to insert this nozzle into this blade and just place it inside the food processor so just watch me do that now so i'll just pour it the good thing about this food processor again is that it can blend as much as possible it can blend as much quantity as possible make sure your food processor is locked because if it is not locked it's not going to blend chop or whatnot so it also comes with different nozzles to for different level of function so this is one this is two depending on how fast you want your food processor to work and this is a full a pulse function so the food processor is plugged now i'm just going to show you guys how i chop my pepper mixture using this food processor so let me use the pulse function also And there you have it guys your pepper mixture is ready finely chopped can you guys see finely chopped there is nothing you cook this with that people will not ask you what did you use to chop this and again another good thing about using a food processor is it works really fast like you can literally blend a lot of pepper mixture or chop a lot of pepper mixture in seconds that's how it works so we're going to move straight to um, slicing now I've used this one to show you how I chop my pepper mixture so you can chop anything you can chop your veggies you can chop your carrots your cucumbers anything choppable that you naturally would want to use your hand or a blender for you can use your food processor so this is one reason why you should get a food processor so guys I have just shown you how to chop now i'm going to be showing you how to slice and i'm going to be using this kitchen aid food processor i love this food processor a lot but like you know like i said earlier your food processor comes with different um features and they are all similar for different brands and for this one it came with a slicer to slicing pan so you can slice you can even grate you can grate then um you can chop you can you can chop it has like a blade and you can also knead you can use this kneading blade for your pounded yam you can also use this for your pounded yam and to mix your dough so i'm going to be chopping some carrots i have my carrots here and some bell peppers i'm just going to show you how i do that using this food processor so um i've entered the i've put in the nozzle and i'm just going to put this blade so if you notice that the 
I'm not putting the chopping blade inside because I am slicing. If you put this chopping blade inside while slicing, it will eventually chop it. So your chopping blade should never be inside your your cut while you're slicing. So I take this out and I enter. I put the nozzle. I cover it up. Make sure it is sealed properly. Yeah, so it is sealed now. Um, this is what I'm going to be using to push it down. So I'll just put in the carrots now. Please bring it closer. I'll just put in the car carrots now. I press start. ready now let me show you guys what we just sliced so instead of spending all the time in the world you know using your hand and all that um, this is the consistency you get when you slice the round consistency for the carrots and the long one for your bell peppers so you can slice cucumbers you can slice anything sliceable cabbage you know um lettuce for your cabbage you use this for your lettuce you use this also so you can literally experiment with anything using your food processor this food processor is a must have in every kitchen i mean if i visit a kitchen and you don't have a food processor i'll first think are you really serious about cooking are you really serious about your, your tummy <laughs> so yes so i've just chopped i've just sliced uh, the next thing i'm going to be doing now is kneading yeah the next one I'm going to be showing you is how to use your food processor to knead your dough. You know, like I mentioned earlier, your food processor also doubles as a kneading machine. So you don't need a stand mixer or a hand mixer if you have a food processor already. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, you'll be, need, you'll be using your um, blunt blade. You, most, of, most of these brands already write it on it for kneading. So you, you can also use the sharp one, but this is also best for kneading. I'm going to be kneading um, a fish roll dough. And I'm going to show you how I use the food processor. So um, you can see that I don't have any blade, any sharp blade inside of this. Just this nozzle and um, the blunt blade. So I'm just going to pour all of my ingredients and to knead everything very fast. So I have my flour here. I'm just going to pour in the flour now. Then um, I'll add some sugar and some salt. I'm using my my head to measure, but please, you guys should try and use measurements when you want to use your own. Ooh, it's too much. Then um, I have pinch of salt, pinch of salt to this dough and I'm going to add some baking powder also this is not right, use measurements please then for flavor some nutmeg powder so I'm going to add some butter to this, this is my butter and a little water I'm going to monitor it so that I don't add I don't add too much water to this. I'll just cover this up now and just start to knead. Elastic it is 
so guys i told you that you can use your food processor to do literally anything and it saves a lot of time this thing didn't need for close to, it even need for up to 10 minutes but if you want to need it further you can even you know further um need it but it works pretty fast and it, food processor is so versatile the next one i'm going to be showing you is how to pound your yam you can pound yam using your food processor you can pound um um cocoa yam anything poundable you can use your food processor so now that i've shown you how to knead using your food processor i hope you're going to go get your own after watching this video i'm going to be showing you how to use your food processor to pound yam i'm sure a couple of you have seen me use uh, pound yam using a food processor it is really easy all you just need to do is boil your yam transfer it into a food processor and let it do the job um so i'm going to be using this ninja blender for this purpose you can use um the sharp blade or you can use the blunt blade whichever you choose to use works but i like to use the sharp blade blade because it is cutting yam so i want it to like work really fast so i'm going to be tossing my cooked yam so i bought the yam already um so i'm just going to pour a little of it inside my food processor then i'll lock it up if you don't lock your food processor it's not gonna work then turn it on and press blend so once i turn it on i press I'm going to further blend it for your food processor is the real deal let me let me blend it one more time because I'm going to eat this one you get It doesn't even need you to add water to the yam or nothing. All you just need to do is put the yam inside and just wrap it and serve it with, you know, good egusi soup or bono soup, buffet, salad and the rest. I hope you guys are finding this video very useful. If you are, please, if you have watched this video to this point, type the word food processor in the comment section. Let me know who has watched the video to this point. So now we're going to move on to the next one. I'm going to make in some bread crumbs. I told you your food processor can chop, it can shred, you can do anything. So I'm going to show you how to make your bread crumbs using a food processor so you don't have to go buying breadcrumbs all the time that you need it you get. I'm gonna go quickly into showing you how to make your breadcrumbs using a food processor so I have my bread here um, I already toasted it you can use a pan to toast or you can use your toaster just make sure it is as dry as possible so I have my food processor here then uh, I'm just going to cut little pieces of it into the food processor sorry I forgot to show you the blade I'm using so I'm using the the um, all-purpose blade for slicing, chopping, and all that. That's what I'm using. So the bread has to be as crispy as possible. So we're gonna add the third one. Yeah, so I have my bread all stuffed up in the food processor now. I'll just press start to knead it. So it's done now. The bread is all crumbled up. And check it out, guys. Can you see? You save yourself some money that you would naturally use to buy your breadcrumbs. And the good thing about these breadcrumbs is if it is well toasted, like if your bread is well toasted, it can last you as long as you know 
four weeks five weeks where if it is like properly stored in a cool dry place so now i've showed you many things to use your food processor for i have just one more thing i'm going to be showing you how to mince your meat using your food processor also and last but not the least i'm going to be showing you how to mince your meat using your food processor you can mince whatever protein you like to mince you can mince your fish you can mince your beef goat meat ram meat any kind of meat you can mince your chicken your pork any kind of meat you can use um, your food processor to mince it but um, one tip for you to um, adopt whenever you want to mince your raw protein is to make sure that you put it in the freezer for like 30 minutes so that it can firm up a bit so that it's easy to go it's easy for the blade to, to like go into every corner of the meat so this has been in the freezer for the past one hour or so so it has firmed up a bit so i'm just going to drop them into the food processor now and mince it so yeah all-purpose blade I'm just going to cover it up and just yeah so guys your minced meat is ready you know one of the many advantages of using let me show you yeah you can see how well missed it is so one of the many advantages of using a food processor is you get to like you know you know what you, you control what goes into your food i mean i can imagine you um buying minced meat and not knowing what the minced meat contains but because you bought your meat you washed it yourself and you're missing it yourself kind of give you like confidence on what you are eating yeah so um i hope you guys um like this video and i hope you guys found this video really educating and i hope you guys are going to get your own food processor if you don't already have i'm just showing you the many ways to using it because what i'm here for is to make your kitchen experience better than you know what it usually is that is why you should get a food processor um if you use your food processor for any other thing apart from the ones i have shown in this video please let me know in the comment section and if you watch this video to this moment please type the word again food processor and if you love this video please do not hesitate to share with your family your friends your loved ones and of course drop a comment and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed thank you for watching bye